Hi, and welcome to SEO Banzai. I'm George, and today I'm going to show you how to push your Xcode project, your application, or whatever, to GitHub. And this way you can actually do source control, push and pull changes, and stuff like that. So first, while inside the project, go here to Xcode, and then go to Settings. Here you go to Accounts, and the plus button, and then you go to GitHub. Click Continue, and you're going to see Account and Token. So Account, in my case, is going to be my username, so GSNOW. And then the token you're going to have to generate. So you're going to go here to create a token on GitHub. And if you are already logged in, it will take you to tokens classic and then to create a new token, generate token, new token classic. That's what you need. You need to give it a name. I'm going to call it Xcode so that I know what it is. On the expiration, you can set the expiration time. So I'm going to just go ahead and select maybe 90 days. And here we have to check these to give proper permissions to Xcode because otherwise Xcode will not be able to push, pull, create invitations to whatever. I'm not going to select the admin GPG key over here. SSH keys is not necessary. Copilot, I'm going to select this one as well. That's about it. You should definitely check out the permissions over here. Only give permissions that you need for your application. I'm going to go with generate token over here. Now you should treat the token that you have like a password. Do not give the token away to anybody because the token can be used instead of your password to gain access to the account. So I'm going to copy the token over there. And I'm going to go here to Xcode and paste the token. As you can see, it is actually like a password. It is hidden. So I'm going to press sign in. It will take a few seconds and we're signed in. Now we can go here to source control to get this tab over here and set the author name. So in this case, George Hill and author email, geosnow, se365.info. And that's it. Now we have your account set up, but the project is still not part of Git. To fix that, you go here, click on the name of the project, then go here to the source control. Go here to repositories. And as you can see, it says no Git repository. So we're gonna have to create one. So you go here to integrate, you go to new Git repository over here. Make sure this one is checked over here. Click create. And now there will be a repo created for your project. As you can see over here, this is the main branch and you have everything over over here. And now that you have the project in here, you need to create a remote. You go here to remote and you can see there is nothing. So we right click the remote and select new iSecureOS remote. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to set it to private. It's best to set it as private first and then set it as public once you're ready to go public. This way you don't accidentally leak important or private application files like API keys or whatever. So I'm going to press create over here. It will create the project it says pushing over here. Now we have the project. We have the remotes. We can go here to integrate and just push. We press push again and the project will be available on our GitHub. So if you right click in here and you go to view on GitHub, you will be able to see your project. There you go. So we have the project, we have the folders, we have the code, which is this one over here. As you can see, everything is available. Now, if you make changes to your project, I'm going to go here to this and I'm going to say have scanned your device before. So I made a few changes to the project. In order to push the changes, you go here to integrate again, and then select commit. This one pushes the changes that you've made. And as you can see, it says in here that I have modified this file over here. And we have here the field for commit message. Here you can type briefly what you have changed. And then we press right here, commit and push. There you go. Stage all and commit and push. And there you go. Now if you go here to the source control to repositories, and we view it on GitHub again, we do have the changes, as you can see, changes to strings. And if you go here to commit, you see that we have two of them, one of them containing those changes that I made in Xcode. So this way you can keep your applications with proper source control and you're doing that directly from Xcode. That's basically what you need to do. Thank you for watching and definitely check out the tools.seobanzai.com where we have some nice and interesting tools available for you. Peace.